for the Lilac project, I've been involved in the very beginning when uh, the colleagues from Calix came over to Europe uh, to build a partnership to develop this project. We as Heidelberg, uh, we have a vision to be carbon neutral in 2050. And for that, we really need some groundbreaking uh, innovations. And uh, Lilac is definitely one of the innovations that can help us to decarbonize our industry while remaining competitive on our cement market. The, the Lilac project uh, will allow the cement and the lime industry to capture the CO2 from the process uh, which is unavoidably there at a lower cost than the traditional technologies which we have nowadays and uh, also it is fast fast to implement and, um, and I think with this the cement industry and lime industry can without having a, a huge additional cost uh, come to carbon neutral uh, production. I think the biggest challenge we had in the project is that when we were designing the idea and make it more concrete, we uh, found out that it was very difficult to get our ideas realized within the budget. Uh, then it was a, uh, that all the, the partners uh, came together. There were Australian ideas, there were German ideas, there were Belgium ideas, there were ideas from the UK. And we sat around the table with 20 people from different nationalities and we brought it to a point uh, that this design would work. We, we improved the design and at the same time we could reduce uh, the cost. I think this was a definitely very critical moment in the project and from then on we had a clear plan and we are now executing this. For Lilac, uh, now we come into an exciting period uh, looking forward as we are going to commission uh, the reactor test all kinds of operating modes and then we'll see uh, how the material will decarbonize, how the CO2 will be separated from uh, the limestone and uh, how this reactor, which has to operate with a steel temperature of 1000 degrees, how it will behave uh, if the material is flowing through the reactor in a proper way and if it won't get uh, unexpected disturbances. I think uh, if other organizations would want to make major steps, they have first to look, does it match with your company uh, policy? Is it really your vision of the company? And then put engaged people on it who really like to work on it and are not afraid to uh, overcome hurdles which unavoidably will come, but they are persistent and passionate to make it happen.